Hey, you guys. I got some bad news. Well, that's no way to sell newspapers. Why don't you try extra, extra? Read all about it. Oh, Monica's restaurant got a horrible review in the Post. Oh, oh no. Yeah, I didn't want her to see it, so I ran around the neighborhood and bought all the copies I could find. <laughs> Two, four, six, one million. Yep, you got them all. Man, this is bad. And I've had my share of bad reviews. I still remember my first good one, though. Everything else in this production of Our Town was simply terrible. Joey Tribbiani was abysmal. Hey. hey. Oh, my God. Look at all the newspapers. It must be a good review. Is it great? Um... <laughs> Oh, dear God. But the good news is no one in a two-block radius will ever know. What about the rest of Manhattan? Yeah, they all know. <laughs> oh, my God, this is horrible. I'm so sorry. I'm so honey. humiliated. Yeah, but you know what they say, Mon? There is no such thing as bad press. And you don't think that um, the chef's mahi-mahi was awful, awful? Is bad press? <laughs> I didn't write it. How does he write? Am I really, am I oh, awful? God, no. No, 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 no. Hey, hey, Monica, you listen to me, okay? And I'm not just saying this because I'm your friend. I'm saying it because it's the truth. Your food is abysmal. <laughs> oh, God, I forgot how hot she was. <laughs> I'm going to get some more coffee. Hey. hey. Oh, you know, I'll, I'll come with you. Okay. So, a professor, huh? Yeah, she is cool. And she's so smart. Her mind is totally acrimonious. <laughs> Guess that's not how she is. <laughs> I feel like I owe you an explanation. I don't ordinarily go around kissing guys at parties. I'm, uh, well, I'm kind of embarrassed. I really hope you don't think less of me. No, think less of you? No, I don't think less of you. I mean, you, you saw someone you liked and you kissed them. I mean, those people who, who like someone and, and don't kiss them, those, those people are stupid. I hate those people. You know, actually, I'm a little surprised at myself. I mean, Joey is so different from the guys I usually date. I mean, they're all professors, intellectuals, paleontologists mostly, you know, very cerebral. Yeah, I know the type. <laughs> Hey, if we want to uh, grab a bite before work, we better get acrimonious. <laughs> no? Am I getting close? Rach, you there? Oh, my God. Oh, it's Ross. What are we going to do? Okay, just, just, just be calm. Just be calm. For all he knows, we're just, we're just hanging out together. All right, so just be nonchalant. <sighs> <laughs> Nonchalant? No idea what it means. Oh. <laughs> what are you guys gonna do? Oh, I guess we just find a divorce lawyer? Uh, well, I think, I think Ross already has one. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that guy's finally gonna be able to put it in that pool. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. Now, this one's free, right? Because you paid for the first two, so you get the third one for free. <laughs> It up, but the joke's on you because we don't need to get divorced. Okay, we're, we're just gonna get an annulment. An annulment? Ross, I don't think surgery's the answer here. <laughs> Hello, Zelda. Who are you supposed to be? The vicar. Do you even know what a vicar is? Like a goalie, right? Yeah. Look, Joey, it's enough, all right? The joke's over. I'm sick of it. You mean this isn't the sweet torment you've been waiting all your life for? Joey, I'm serious, all right? It's enough. You keep making these stupid jokes and these sleazy innuendos, and it's, I'm not, it's just not funny anymore. All right, I'm sorry. Rach, I'm sorry. Okay, I'm sorry. Now, maybe I can make it up to you by taking you roughly in the barn. Oh. Would you put that back on? Monica's gonna be here any minute. But it hurts my Joey's apple. <laughs> okay, for the last time, it's not named after each individual man. What's up? Hey, did you stop by here? No. Oh my God! Oh, thank God! Emma, there you are! <laughs> 
was she? Oh, we were playing peekaboo. She just, she loves it when I'm dramatic. <laughs> Why the hell did you take her? Because you two were having sex. No, we weren't. Don't you lie to me. I can tell by Chandler's hair, you are so lazy. Can't you get on top for once? All right, all right, we were. We were trying to make a baby. Monica's ovulating. Hey, it is unacceptable that you two would have sex with Emma in the next room. I'm gonna have to tell Rachel about that. Oh, no, 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 no. Please don't, please, I, Joey, hey, she will kill us. Hey, I gotta. Unless. Unless what? Unless you name your firstborn child Joey. <laughs> what? Why? Hey, I may never have kids, and somebody's gotta carry on my family name. <laughs> your family name is Tribbiani. Oh, you almost had me. <laughs> Hi. We're the guys that uh, called. Uh, We're about the baby. We left the baby uh, on the bus. Is he here? Is he here? Is he here? Is he here? He's here. Ah. <laughs> I'm assuming one of you is the father. That's him. <laughs> Actually, uh, <clears throat> we're, we're both the father. Please tell me you know which one is our baby. Well, well that one has ducks on his t-shirt, and this one has clowns. And Ben was definitely wearing ducks. Or clowns. Oh! Oh, wait! That one's definitely Ben. Remember, he had that cute little mole by his mouth. Yeah? Yeah. Hey, Ben, remember us? Okay, the mole came off. Uh, what are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? Uh, uh, we'll flip for it. Ducks or clowns? Oh, we're gonna flip for the baby? You got a better idea? All right, call it in here. Heads. Heads it is. Yes. We have to assign heads to something. <laughs> right. Okay. Okay. Uh, ducks is heads because ducks have heads. kind of scary-ass clowns came to your birthday. You picked Jack and Jill went up the hill. Oh, my friend Rachel has a kid. I totally know nursery rhymes. Joey, describe these things associated with the United States Congress. <laughs> Give me 20 seconds on the clock, please. Ready? Go. Uh, the little thing that hangs down on the back of your throat. A uvula. Oh, then pass. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Henrietta, you didn't get all the points you needed, so that means, Gene, you are going to the winner's circle to try for $10,000, and you're going to be going there with Joey Tribbiani. Charlie, is she there? No, she uh, she went shopping with Rachel. Why? What's up? Well, I'm meeting with Professor Sherman about my being the keynote speaker. Oh, how's it going? It could be better. <laughs> he um he fell asleep. What? But I already bought my ticket to Bermuda. <laughs> Barbados. Fine, I'll rent the car and drive. <laughs> Ross, you have to get that job. But what am I supposed to do? He's out cold. In fact, he, he was just talking in his sleep before, and evidently he wants someone named Fran to spank him harder. <laughs> well, just wake him up. I can't. If he realizes that I'm the one who put him to sleep, I won't get the job. Oh, that's a tough one. Oh, wait a minute. This happened to me before. Yeah, I was auditioning for a play, and the producer fell asleep. I... No. Wait a minute. It was me who fell asleep. <laughs> Uh, I mean, hey, Shakespeare, how about a chase scene once in a while? <laughs>
Hey, Ross, is, uh, is Staten Island really an island? Uh-huh. That's why they call it Staten Island. Oh, I thought it was like Long Island. <laughs> also an island. Rachel? I didn't know Joey was on JAG. Hey. Hey. I just talked to Joey. I just I wanted to see how you were. Are you know, I still, I can't believe it. Joey and Rachel? I mean, it, it's like you and me going out, only weirder. <laughs> I know you're hurting, and, and I want to be supportive, but don't say that again. Oh, my God. What if, what if they get married? Then he'd be the stepfather of my child. Honey, I don't think that's something you need to worry about. First of all, he, he's never going to tell her how he feels about her. And even if he did, you have no idea how she would react. Sure, because women never like Joey. You know, I think he's a virgin. <laughs> Joey, he's not even thinking about going after Rachel. He's not? No. All he's thinking about is how you're taking this. I mean, listen, it, it's completely freaking him out. He's talking about moving to Vermont. Why? He says he wants to leave the country. <laughs> he thinks you hate him. Hate him? I... No, I don't hate him. It's just as Rachel, you know? I can't even imagine how hard this must be for you. But I don't want you to lose Joey over it. Right now, he just needs to know that you're still his friend. Okay. Okay, I'll talk to him. Okay. And I'd do it soon. He just asked me how he could convert his dollars into Vermont money. <laughs> how can I not get this. I'm a college professor. I got 1450 on my SATs. 1250. Damn, I forgot you were here. All right, we're going to take clunkers to Ross's. We'll be back in a minute. Oh, wait, before you guys go, can I just ask you a question? Yeah. Um, when a guy breaks up with his girlfriend, what is an appropriate amount of time to wait before you make a move? Oh, I'd say about a month. Really? Mm -hmm. I'd say three to four. Half hour. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> when it's your assistant, I would say never. All right, Rach, the big question is, does he like you? Right? Because if he doesn't like you, this is all a moo point. Huh. A moo point? Yeah. It's like a cow's opinion. <laughs> you know? It just doesn't matter. <laughs> it's moo. living with him for too long, or did that all just make sense? Ross, you need some help? From you? <laughs> yes, please. <clears throat> First of all, Utah? Dude, you can't just make stuff up. 